So coming at you with a bit of Vim magic today. I learned this recently and I thought it would be really useful to share. So say we have a word in a file we want to change. We've got this word failed and we want to change it to succeeded. So what we would normally do is we'd go, we'd use the substitute command, preface it with percent to say we want to run for every line in the file. It's percent s and then we're going to say failed and then we're going to change that to succeeded like this, right? Nice and easy, but we can make it quicker. So what we can do is if we if we put the word failed into our search register, which can be done by just hitting asterisk or hitting hash, and then we run the substitute command, we no longer need to populate that first bit of substitute command. We can leave it completely empty and we can just say succeeded like this. And what that's going to do is it's going to use the search register for that first bit of the substitute command. And there we go. It works nicely. So that's really helpful but what is also really useful to know is that that also works for vim grep so we've got a big code base here and we want to change failed to succeeded in you know lots of files you know there's files in the directories there's files in the directories and the directories blah 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 so what we can do is we can say vim grep slash slash because we're going to use the search registry i'm going to add a j here so that we don't immediately jump to the first uh, match and then i'm going to say star star slash star which is going to be any file uh, you know, in any directory, it's going to search recursively. And I'm going to add a .txt just so it's only looking in those files, right? We're going to run this, and then that's going to populate the quick fix list, which is really awesome. We can open that with C open, right? And we can see every match in here. And if we only want to edit certain matches, we could go through and, you know, edit matches individually. What is nice is that we can run sudo, which is going to run a um, command for every match in the quick fix list. Or if we want, we can run cfdo, which is going to run a command for every file that has a match in the quick fix list. We're going to say percent %s slash slash succeeded slash. And then we are also going to have to add a pipeline and say write just so that we, because we're editing multiple files, we need to make sure we write after we run the command, right? And if we run this, we can see it's written. And then if we just do a quick vim grep for succeeded, like this, um, we can see in our quick fix list here that it's worked. Okay, so that's really useful. Um, one tip is that if we go to our vimrc, we can set auto write to true. So that way I don't have to pipe, um, I don't have to add the pipe and add uh, write. And also I'm going to turn off the netrgw banner because that's really useful. And then also I'm going to make it so vimgrep uh, will always uh, open the quick fits list after I use it. Okay, so we're back where, we were back where we were. So let's go to our file, get this in the, get this in our search register. Then we can do vimgrep slash slash j star star slash star dot dot txt right and there we've got our quick fits list again um so what we can do as well which is really useful is that this quick fix quick quick fix command cf do works for other commands too so like normal so this is where it becomes really powerful we can say for every file that has a match we can go to the end of the file open a new line and say hooray and let's run that and we can see that's run and we can even quickly do a vim grep for hooray and um, we can see that it's added it into each of our files here which is awesome anyway i hope these tips were useful and uh yeah see you